Today we'll be making a compass out of a needle and a magnet. Um, we've made, or we've, I've set out some, some compasses to show what direction is relatively north. They're all just a tad off because all compasses are not made equal. This is just a magnet from my refrigerator. I'm not sure the polarization of that, north or south. I'm going to stroke the needle with the magnet in the same direction 20 or 30 times. This helps polarize the needle itself. Typically when I've, uh, when I've done this, it points um, whichever, whichever way I'm stroking the, uh, the magnet on the needle will point south. So we'll test that out, see if it proves true again. If you have a magnet that, it, that you know which side is north, which side is south, experiment with it to decide which one is better. So you'll want some water that's still, if, if, you're, um, if you're out in, in the woods and you have a canteen cup or whatever, if you can uh, get the water so that it's not not moving um, and then try to use the surface tension of the water to show the direction. There, the way I was stroking the, the needle is pointing south. So we know that way is north and it matches up with, with what the compasses show. I've already uh, used the magnet on this safety pin. Just get my finger out from under it. If it doesn't work um, to put on the surface tension, you can always put it in a leaf, which you can find anywhere. <laughs> this might have a little more drag in the water, but it will still work. That one's finding its way. I magnetized a bobby pin, which a lot of people, especially women, carry having their hair you can do the same thing and the leaf is sunk like the Titanic <laughs> over here are some examples of what I've used this is a piece of a twist tie from a uh, from a bed bag this is a normal pin a staple that's been straightened and a sewing needle any of those work I've magnetized them and tested them all um, so any needle pin, little piece of metal you can tear apart your cell phone if it's absolutely no good to you anymore. See what you can find in there. And uh, that's about it. Thanks.